A new show on Broadway is exploring themes that are relatively new to the Great White Way. It's called Choir Boy, and it's written by Terrell Avon McCraney, who won an Oscar for writing Moonlight. It follows the story of a queer African-American teen at an all-boys prep school. So let's take a look. The show is canceled. What? <laughs> As it stands right now, you, you can't act accordingly. Come on. You, you can't act like brothers. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, you can't act like a choir, then you can't perform. Sir, you can't just, just cancel compete. the gala. You can't cancel the, the gala. The school has to raise money, Mr. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, I know, but see, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the choir sponsor now. And so I'll just say they, meaning you, couldn't get it together, therefore couldn't perform. All right, so joining me now are two actors from the show, John Clay III and Jay Quinton Johnson. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank you for having me. So what's the reception been like for this show? It's Pretty been, good? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah? It's been a, a, a huge turnout, and people have been really supportive of what we're putting out there. Yeah. And yeah, I've been loving it. So I wish that what we could have shown people is some of the singing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but we couldn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm interested, though. This is tackling some tough issues, mm -hmm. right? Growing yeah. up, being part of the LGBT community, uh, the church, what mm -hmm. it means to be a man, mm -hmm. right? Um, to be a black man. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, how challenging was this for you guys? Because I can imagine you got to dig deep into some of your own stuff mm -hmm. yes. and be honest about it, put it out there on stage. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, that, that's what we're what we're always trying to do as storytellers, right? right. Is, to, is to find where the truth lies and the honesty, um, and bring that forward for people to see that perspective of, of, of something that they might not be exposed to in their day to day lives. So it's been actually really nice to to dive into to things that feel so honest and true for us that may not be the case for um, you know people that we went to college with. Mm -hmm. As we were studying musical theater, right? right? Because with a show that is so unapologetically black and queer, um, it, it's it, the people that are coming to see the show might not uh, experience these themes and, and this kind of truth in their own lives. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, the, the thing about, well, you know, we'll get to that later. I feel like I need to tell people sort of the general story arc here. Like, yes. what's the plot? Who are you guys to each other on stage? <laughs> and tell us what it's about. Yes, well, I play Anthony Austin James, who is AJ, and I play Ferris, who's the main character, best friend. I'm his roommate. I'm the jock of the show. And I'm also the person who is like the end way of like what a relationship between a homosexual and a straight heterosexual male and that it's possible for that to even happen. Yes. And so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of like an odd couple pairing mm -hmm. in a way, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the thing about these sorts of themes is we have in the past put it in the box. Like, this is the LGBTQ experience, mm -hmm. and so, or the black experience. And so the expectation often for theater is that the audience will be black, the audience yeah. will be gay. Mm -hmm. And when I read about this play, I thought about the Chitlin circuit, uh -huh. where you know it was black actors on stage and they yeah. sort of advertise only towards a black audience. Mm -hmm. And I thought, geez, this is so refreshing to have this on Broadway, mm -hmm. that they're not thinking that only a black audience would be interested. Mm -hmm. What's the audience like? Is it diverse? It is diverse. Yeah. It's pretty diverse. And it's, it's also just scary, too, just as the performer's standpoint, because it's like, that's my culture on stage. And it's, it's like, how are these, I don't want to say outsiders, but people who don't necessarily do this on a day to day basis, how are they going to take us? Like, how are they going to take us being just regular human beings yeah. and how we struggle to be, you know, strong black men? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, I feel like yeah. the, as, as well as the, the racial, um, Variance in our audiences. There also is a lot of age variance, which is which is great. Um, it, it's easy to see a lot of young black men on stage and think, you know, oh well, it's probably going to be a younger show or you know, 1835 demo. Um, but it actually does. We we see people again from 18 to you know probably in their 80s mm -hmm. watching the show. And again, mm -hmm. that's that's it's really mm -hmm. refreshing to get this story in front of those eyes. There's a lot of stepping. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You guys have to sing and dance. Yeah, yeah. we do. Basically a musical. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like stepping takes a lot of energy. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of... I was like going to start doing some moves, but I won't because I don't know how to step. But, you know, there's a lot of kicking and jumping. Yes, and, yes. you know, that's got to that's gotta take a lot of sort of muscle control, mm -hmm. I would think, right? Yeah, well, Absolutely. I mean, as, as does being a, a, a young black man in a prep school, mm -hmm. right? Oh, you know right. what I mean? There's a yeah. lot of, there's a lot of uh, understanding and control that is that is on your growth because you know that once you get out of these 
these out of these halls that that a larger challenge awaits you. And I think there's a lot of that vision in Camille A. Brown's choreography and, mm -hmm. and Trip Coleman's direction, and then even the music, um, you know, uh, the arrangements by um, Jason Michael Webb. Mm -hmm. All of those things are kind of working together, even in a moment like our, our step. Uh, it, and it's so interesting, right? Because like the musicality of step. Jason is sitting there and kind of being like, okay, so like how long is this? And like, what are the, the beats of it? So yeah. I, I love that it is so infused across mediums, again, to, to represent what the young men are going through in terms of their attention and the way that they have to work through their day-to-day -day lives. Right, um, this is written by the same person who wrote Moonlight. Yes. Uh, Moonlight was an amazing movie. I remember when it came to an end, I remember sort of a feeling of like, ah, like mm -hmm. there, it was heavy, you wanted to talk about it afterwards. Are there any similarities or is this a completely different thing? I mean, it's, there are similarities to it. It does, I think, leave you with that same feeling of like, wait, what? Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I gotta walk away with? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. And now I have, to, I have to talk about this. I don't know what to necessarily say, but I have to get this off my heart. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Terrell's writing is able to capture just this emotion that most writers don't necessarily have. Mm -hmm. He's just like, it just, he en encompasses like this, this, not pain, but just like this wanting to belong and yeah. all of his things and- A yearning. And like, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, on many, many different mm -hmm. levels of yearning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, the church is also sort of almost, I guess, almost like probably another character mm -hmm. in, yeah, uh, in the play. Mm -hmm. And you talked about sort of putting your culture out there yeah. for people. I would think, I don't know if you guys grew up singing in church or, mm -hmm. or that sort of thing, but I would think sort of handling the church well would be a concern as well. Because the church is an interesting place, particularly when it comes to gay people. Mm -hmm. You know, in the African-American community, a lot of a lot of gay people sort of ended up in the choir, yeah, in that, yeah, in, you yeah, know? Yeah. And so it's a safe place to go where you do belong to a certain degree, but meanwhile, often there are messages being sent out about mm -hmm. what a real man behaves like and, and that sort of thing that can simultaneously sort of comfort and also reject, mm -hmm. right? And so was it a sort of delicate balance for you guys to kind of get that out there? Yeah, I mean, we, we all come with our, with our own experiences of what it's been like in the church. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that for me personally, I, there's, there's always been a lot of question in that. It's like how, how can something that is that supposedly in its design um, supposed to make people feel together and, and feel like there is something else to live for and that there's a reason to be together and to love. Yeah. How, how can something that that is brandishing that message also also shut a, a group of people out right. and make them feel marginalized or feel like there there's no space for them um, so but challenging that uh, that question is is what a lot of what the table work mm -hmm. for the show was about mm -hmm. um, so it, it is kind of it's it's great to explore that gray area mm -hmm. a bit. Well, congratulations, guys. It looks like the show is doing well. To be young, gifted, and black yes, is indeed. what I see here. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.